get rid of one of the sofas. Which one do you get rid of? His or hers? Okay, it really doesn't matter, but you may have a point. <laughs> There's a lot of truth to that. <laughs> There's a lot of truth to that. You're getting rid of his sofa. Uh, what else do you get rid of that's redundant because you don't need two of, oh, TV, right? Okay, whose TV do you get rid of, hers or his? I'd say hers because he probably has a, you know, a plasma or something, you know, because if he has a Wii and a PlayStation, then you know. No, you can't get rid of his mom because mom is not redundant. There is two moms, one of the moms has to go. Okay? Uh, is there anything else that's redundant? Listed twice. Is that it? Note the redundant list. The things that we crossed out were what? Do you guys notice that the things that were listed twice are really the is really the intersection? So the redundancy here, the extra TV, the extra sofa. This is the intersection. So taking the union gives you the intersection automatically. It's the stuff you leave out. Okay, you guys okay with that? Good, you get a little extra this morning. Okay, you guys okay with this? All right. What in the world does this have to do with marbles? Well, let's see. Here's a fact. This is known as the addition rule for counting. OK? It's the addition rule for counting. And I'm going to show you something here by using what's known as a Venn diagram. If I have two lists, maybe list A and list B, okay? If I represent every item on list A with this dot, this blue dot, and every item in list B with a red dot, And my task was this. I want to count how many items are in A or B. I want to count how many items are in either A or B. Let's do that. OK? How would we go about this? What do you think? What do you want to do? How do we start to count things? So what would you do? You're going to count everything in A, OK? Everything in A is counted. It's in blue. Is that true? All the blue dots. So you counted all the blue dots in A. Is that right? And then, are you done counting? What do you have to do? Count all the what now? The things in, in B, all the red dots. Is that true? Does anybody notice something about this? Is this an accurate count by counting everything in A and then adding that number to everything that you counted in, in B? Is there a problem with this? What's the problem? The middle, Yalzi, what happened in the middle? What's happening here? Did we overcount? Did we overcount in the middle? So how do you fix the fact that you counted everything? How many times did you count everything in the middle? Twice. Is that true? So if you counted everything here in A, shaded in blue, we counted all that stuff. We then went back and said, oh, let's count everything in what? In B. This middle portion was counted twice. So in order to fix this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw out 
one of that counting. What region is this? This is the region right that's in both A and what? This, ladies and gentlemen, is a picture of the intersection, A and B. So if I throw out what was counted twice once, minus what was counted twice, I throw it out once, I now have an accurate count. Is that right? I now have an accurate count. So what in the world does this have to do with probability and or? Well, you see, you see the word or. What's associated with or is a set operation of union. What's associated with and is a set operation of intersection. And so this relationship, how many things that are in A or B, is found by counting how many things in A, how many things are in B, and throwing out how many things that are in both. Okay? Let's go back now, and let's check the marriage situation. Let's check the marriage situation. So we go back and look at the marriage. Because we're really looking at the union with G with what? With H. Is that true? We're looking at that union. Can you guys tell me how many items are in that union? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Are there thirteen items there? Okay. Can you guys tell me how many items did Gina bring to the marriage? How many are in G? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She brought eight items. How many items did, what do we call this guy? Henry? He brought what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Henry brought seven items. And how many items were redundant? How many items? Two. Double check. Is it true that Is it true that 13 is equal to 8 plus 7 minus 2 Is that true? What's 8 plus 7? 15. What's 15 minus 2? 13. Okay, so this is used for counting. So why do you care about counting if we're answering probability questions? Another fact. Addition rule for probability. Do you guys agree from algebra? What if I decided to divide both sides of an equation by the same value, the same non-zero value? Can I do that? Can I do 